Greetings YouTube and welcome to part 46 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We just finished seeing a bunch of scenes and now we're going to figure out where we want to go with our battles. Ah yes, I remember. Here in Uragala Twin Peaks we had a new map to explore. This is good because we're kind of low on those those good metals, good iron scraps, and good stone. Plus there's this secret thing. Now interestingly, we've never gotten one of this, but it doesn't show up as question marks, so... I'm sure there'll be an explanation while we're in there. No explanations at all. Mama. Right now, most of my characters are level 22, with some 21s, and a 23 and a 24. Anybody below 23, I'll consider a fighting character at this point. So, you're not a fighting character. You get to take care of that. There isn't much to explore over there, but so Eo will get it done fairly quickly. Oh, I've only got two more 21 levels. And they're both Yuiki. Shutsugeki! Boom. Yes, I remember what I did in my trial run. I tried to deploy Rurin off to the lower right, and he got killed. Now normally the Shofi and the Jilni can't hurt him very much, but they have anti-air skills, and the Jilni has the level 2 anti-air skill. After one round of fighting those two, he was, le he was left with only four hit points. So, he won't be going down there. Leaving basically anybody else. I want Avaro to buff Ranrin for her battle. There's something that's highly resistant to her attacks, so... I'd like to get that over in a reasonable amount of time. Whom can I deploy to deal with those lightning elementals? Definitely not Mikeyu. Okay, Kisuneru, you're not big on magic defense, but... Oh, hey. Well, if she can pull that off, then that's fine. Okay, Fia, you're just a support character right now. Now, a good thing about Kisner is she has these weapons that are fire elemental. And lightning elementals are weak against that. So let's capture ourselves another Sufi. Oh! This is a Lightning Spirit Soul Shard. Alright then. Boy, Fia can really shoot a little distance. But, Fia's not needed yet. Now, I'm trying to kill this Lightning Beast here. And since Lorana is Lightning Elemental, her damage is extremely attenuated. But if Avaro keeps buffing her, she'll get through. Let's see. 23 damage times 2. And it does nothing to me. Capture it! Hmm. Depressingly small amount of experience. Keep dodging, Kisnir. Okay, good enough. 
for now. Heal. Heal's dodge is even better, though. Hmm. That reminds me, I need to find some... all the gather points. I mean, yes, I found them in the tutorial, but now I've forgotten. I for found them in my trial run, but now I've forgotten where. Well, I've got all my engineers to run around. Oh, I've got um, Kaurin who can also find those things. You just wait here. Ah, much better. Now that I've lured it out of hiding, I can use more effective attacks. Haha. <laughs> Deedhelm will be heading down there to see if there's any places to mine. Okay. Oh, Eel doesn't have a capture rope equipped. I need to make more capture ropes and more holding back rings. Because I keep having to switch them out in and switch them out. It's kind of a pain. Everybody doing all right? Now this thing will occasionally attack Avaro when he's standing right behind Ronin, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, I should have buffed her before having her attack. Oh, she's been hit with paralysis. Hmm. Freebie. Yep. I told you so. Fortunately, if he is there for healing, if he gets too low... Come on, aren't you tired of this yet? Capture! Hmm, pretty good experience. Hell, it's not like she is doing anything else. Man, Deet's been getting a lot of that. This will only be captured if she hits both times and gets a crit. Nope. Oh man, Heal's been paralyzed. This could take a while. Nah, I'm gonna take the risk. She might miss both times, but I can always turn back time. <laughs> Lightning Beast's skin. Was there some new recipe that I would needed that for? Hmm. Okay. 
priorities. Alright, good job, Avaro. I hate paralysis so much. Ah, <laughs> sucker. I still have fond memories of the Sylphie and Jilni from Mado Kogaku. Perhaps I should have started by attacking that Lodon rather than the Jill whatever. Because she could get her buff ups while fighting something easy. And then, once it was time to bring out that Labrador, she would have enough buff to do extra damage to it before it got to her. Mm -hmm. Capture it. Oh, good job, Rudin. Physical attack is good. Luck is good. That means I'm down to two level 21 characters. Ah, things are progressing nicely, I must say. Would you recover from paral paralysis already? Jeez. Capture it. And now that I've cleared the way... Yeah. I suppose you're wondering what this is. Well, obviously it's an event. But this is a event that is exclusive to Katorito. So let's pull her out. Oh, mining point. This isn't fair. Now, yeah, keep waiting. We don't need anything else from you, Ranrin. And now, having gone through the teleport gate, Rurin is stranded. Good thing is, he's a Yuiki and I can always send them back to base anytime. Hmm, <laughs> okay, there's no more healing to be done down here, so. There is not much of anything to be left to be done down here. I heard some kind of enemy though. Hmm. This makes sense now that I think about it. Oops. Kisner, good job, but I think we're done. What's this? So, Katarito just stumbles upon something, picks it up, and walks off with it. She thinks that Avaro might know what it is. And that's the whole scene. Recover already! So I can send you back to base and heal up all that damage you took. Yeah, 
No! What a surprise. Who's got a capture rope and can spare it? No. No. Lucia! Give up your capture rope to... What's his face here? Now, Detom also has an anti-air attack. Oh, sweet. You still haven't recovered. And I've got one more mining to do. Where could it be? I'll have to send my characters out looking. Oh yes, I have another character that can do mining. Oh, I know. It was paralyzed until she got here. And then once I stepped on it, the paralysis was renewed to a full five turns again. I'm such a dumbass. Hmm. There's not much Fia can do because she can't mine. Was it in this room? Nope, it wasn't. Hell, did I even find the other mining point the first time? Okay, ice shards for improving weapons and things. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So, let's start from the top. No, I should have taken... Hell. Go back in time. Now, Ranrin can't tell if there's any mining to be done in there, but Kaurin will be able to. Nope, nothing. Detail took the north gate, so I'm going to leave Count in here for the moment. And Detail, let's draw you back. Well, I expect I'll find it before you get back. Oops. Yeah, Detail has already gone south from the center, so it must be to the east. Bingo! Alright. Sorry for the delay. We're done here. I didn't take the time to point out that one room that you can only teleport into. That's getting a little annoying. But I'm sure you guys saw it.
So we got a bunch of that one new item that we'd never seen before, but we didn't see any of the other new item. And we also saw that event with Katarito. Speaking of events with Katarito... So, she presents us with a rock she found. Actually, it's a... This kind of fossilized cocoon thing. Seems very sturdy. So, this isn't possibly the Crimson Cocoon Stone, is it? What a name. So, Detail's pretty surprised to see it. Avaro was thinking that as well. So, that's two people agreeing with it. It appears that this is one of the dragon treasures. It's numbered among the dragon treasures. I wonder how many there are. So, where did you find this, Katarito? To this place we went to before. It kind of gave off this good smell. Well, this is pretty impressive. As expected of a dragon clan. So, she's good at finding things that don't register in human senses. Nice, nice. So, this is usable? Oh, yes. In fact, we're going to find some really good uses for it. Great. Actually, these items we can use in a couple of things that we can equip Katarito with. And now that we've seen that scene, the Hiren Seki shows up in the list there properly. So, I think we're doing good. I'd like to thank you for watching YouTube, and I will see you next time.